It is the first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Who will experience liftoff in the opener? And it's live right here on EA TV. Hello and welcome. The floodlights are shining down here at the 80,000 capacity Lusail Stadium just to the north of Doha. My name is Derek Ray and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Saudi Arabia versus Mexico. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. And a look at the starting lineup for Saudi Arabia. Well, although we have it down as a 4 5 1, it's actually more likely to be a 4 2 3 1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10, and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. Here's how Mexico will begin the game. Well, it's a 4-3-3 formation with a centre forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. And the game begins. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Salman Al Faraj. A creative look about this. But the danger averted for now. And that is going to be a free kick. The no nonsense clearance. Making progress. Will it be? Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. So the corner played into the box. And still a chance. And in the end, no damage done. Well, looking at Erving Lozano, absolutely a crowd pleaser. And Stewart, I wonder what you think he might contribute in this game. Well, the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. He wriggles out of situations, he can find that penetrative pass, and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of his feet and gets shots away. He could be the outstanding player today. Well, can they be creative from here? Lozano. 
Firing is in. Body in the way. Sharahili. Oh, the threat is there. Could be. Oh, he saved it. Well, excellent from the keeper. That's a really top class save. Trying to pick out a teammate. And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. Lozano. Rodriguez. Untidy in possession. Hatan Bahebri. Couldn't keep it. And what can they do to stop him running at them? It was always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. Montes. Sanchez. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. And that is going to be classified as an own goal. Well, no question about this. As you can see, this will go down as an own goal. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Lozano. He read the situation defensively and did his job. to get tighter here and no way through oh that was begging to be put home but the goalkeeper has it oh they've lost it now can they make something happen Working really well as a team to regain possession. Oh, a nice-looking pass. And nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. You might say he'll be happy with some aspects of his performance so far, but not every aspect, Stuart. Well, I think he's been a little bit off the pace today. Yes, he's been tightly marked, but he hasn't done enough to receive the ball in space. I think he's got to work a lot harder in the second half. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. keeper well as you can see from the stats their general play has been excellent they've dominated the play they've created chances but the finishing has been really poor and that has to change at some point well that takes the wind out of their sails great defending Jimenez a real opening now, and a goal to really bolster things for them, two in front.
Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So the ball rolling again, 2-0 the score. Jimenez can't miss surely and he's made it a brace for himself the defenders just unable to stay with him and he's having a field day well here it is again he goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder and his movement so clever once he gets onto it there's only one thought in his head smash it as hard as possible what a good goal this is looking rather comfortable for them 3-0 space afforded him well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. 30 minutes to go then. Ball's gone. Well, foul play, says the referee. Promising possession, this. Very quick thinking there. Saud Abdul Hamid. Edson Alvarez. Now with Hector Herrera. Jimenez. Well, the chance looked to be on, but found himself offside. And a substitution in the offing. And teammates around him. But quick thinking defensively. And into the last 20 minutes. Raul Jimenez, he's in with a chance, oh and it goes, now he has his hat-trick, a special moment for him. Well this is a very tidy finish as you can see, he's under so much pressure but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. A lopsided contest, 4-0. Goal, number nine, Raul Jimenez. That's a good looking ball. Now let's see about the cross. The keeper was never likely to be in trouble then. Edson Alvarez. Rodriguez. Really getting stuck in. Al Shekri. Well, racing past his man. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Very much run of the mill as saves go. And the counter-attack is on, options available. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? Jimenez. Oh, burying them beneath an avalanche of goals. No let up here. Oh. 
Well, as you can see, he's a dangerous runner with the ball. He has such good balance and pace. That's a top-class goal, isn't it? It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Saleh al Shekhvi. Perfect tackle. Oh, what an opportunity! Oh, getting boot on ball, but that's disappointing. Well, there was lots of power in it, but he just couldn't control the shot. That's a very poor finish. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, three minutes to be added on. Salem al Dosseri. Poor attempt at a pass, really. And there we have it. Mexico have prevailed. A most acceptable outcome for them, Stuart. Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest.